there is a reality about this trait, about being high sensory. There is a, there is a purpose, there is, there is an identity of the trait in the world. And that's not because I would like that to be the case that I'm saying that. I'm sharing that with you because of the data and the facts that I have been able to accrue over the last five years of practice and 15 years of research and training within myself. My name is Willow McIntosh and I am the creator of the High Sensory Method. My mission and my purpose in the world is to help awaken us to the purpose of this trait. 30% of the population are born with an ability to process sensory information at a deeper cognitive level. It's been with us throughout the history of mankind and it occurs in a hundred species of animals. The, the data and the information that I was able to accrue over the years of training high sensory people was that we have an ability to be able to read more deeply into the fabric of the world around us. Now, what does that mean and why is that exciting and what is the purpose of that? The reason I want to share this with you is because my greatest intention, my greatest wish for you is to shift out of the challenges and the difficulties of the trait. So if I could speak to myself, let's say 15 years ago, when I was really struggling with understanding who I was and why I was different in the world, the most important information that I could share with myself and to share with you on your journey of being a high sensory person is that there's a reason as to why you're able to process more deeply. So let's say that you are, whatever your field of expertise is, let's say you're working in healthcare as a doctor, maybe you're working um, in law in some way, maybe you're a scientist, maybe you're researching, maybe you're a coach, maybe you're a therapist, you have an ability to be able to see more deeply into the fabric of the area that you're working in, right? And what that's allowing you to do is to read a, a, a broader set of data points in that area that you're working in. And what that's allowing you to do is to create a broader perspective to allow you to intuitively respond to that information in order to provide and in order to provide that information to the world in order to communicate that broader perspective so if you've got two people in the room one is high sensory and one is non high sensory and this is by no means a comparison between sensory and non non high sensory people we need both in the world. There's, there's a reason why nature has this trait operating and, and, and has had it operating all of these years. If you've got those two people in a room together, the high sensory person is going to be experiencing a much broader range of data points in that room. Whatever's going on, whether it's research in science, whether it is in a courtroom, whether it is in a hospital, where a patient is being assessed for particular conditions or to try to identify what's actually happening for that person. A high sensory doctor is going to be picking up and, and receiving and reading a much broader range of information that makes them really, really good at what they do. Now you need the non-high sensory person in the room who is able to respond to what is happening 
without that greater input of, of sensory data. It wouldn't work if we were all high sensory. We need the balance between the two. It's, it's a perfect ratio that we've got a third high sensory and, th and two thirds non-high sensory. What I was able to reveal and see over the years of, of working with high sensory people, so I was consistently facilitating and training high sensory people to understand how they were seeing more deeply and why they were seeing more deeply and what that was making possible in their area of expertise. The, the reality and the, the, the finding of that process of more than 10,000 hours of working directly with high sensory people was that we are able to read an element of truth in the world around us because of the depth to which we are receiving and processing information. Now I know to say that we can see truth and other people can't, that's, that's not what I mean. What I mean is that we are in a physical, metaphysical reality of how the world is operating. So if, so if you think of animals that have the ability to be able to, um, uh, to navigate in the way that they do, um, how, how cats are able to see what they can see, how pigeons are able to navigate, um, how turtles do the amazing things that they do, that's because they are able to read a, a, a broader spectrum of information in the world than we are. So in other words, before we had the, the instruments to, um, to enable us to see it, none of us knew that infrared light existed. So what I mean by truth in this context is, is high sensory people are actually reading more deeper just into the, the, the physical nature of the world, and whether that's a person or whether it's the environment around us. So what that means, that ability to be able to do that, it means that we are able to communicate a broader experience in the world, to share that with the world in order for us to be in partnership with non-high sensory people so we can move the world together to, to reach common beneficial goals for mankind that help the human race to evolve to where it's trying to get to. There's so many applications for that. So, so whatever your area of expertise is, your role and your purpose in the world is, is, is to communicate that, is to communicate what you can see and what you're experiencing. And my invitation is to get curious about that, is, is to actually feel into how you are experiencing the world. What is it that interests you? What's the data that you're picking up on? There's much more to say here, and I'm looking at the timer here right now because I'm really trying to keep these videos at a particular length because I know it's a lot of information. But maybe, maybe you're with me and you're listening to this and, 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 and I'm, I'm trying to get a feel of, of how long these videos should be you know, that I'm creating. So you know, let me know in the comments if it's like, yeah, can you just condense this information or, or are you with me? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna continue to speak for a little bit more. I'm so used to doing long form um, webinars and presentations and, and sessions and things. So my invitation, the, the piece that I'd love for you to take away is that what you're picking up on as a high sensory purpose, as a high sensory person has a purpose. What you're seeing, what you're sensing so when I do train high sensory doctors, uh, 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 nurses and healthcare specialists, when they talk about their experience over the years of their career and they just seem to know things, they, they can just tell what's happening when a patient is, is in a room and people are trying to, the, 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 the professionals in the room are trying to assess that. And the high sensory person continuously gets proven right that their intuition and the data they're experiencing is real and it's happening. It's the same in all the fields that I've trained people over the years. And, and so it's an invitation to shift away from thinking, oh, I've got this, this, this high sensory part of me that just needs self-care. That's not what's happening. Yes, you do need self-care, extra self-care to look after yourself. 
because you're processing that much more deeply. But my invitation is to really get interested and tune into what you're experiencing and most of all to trust the ability that you have to intuit more information, the ability that you have to, uh, to uh, your high levels of empathy, your, your high level empathic ability, how you're able to feel what's happening in other people. Um, and, 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 and not to limit these examples, to actually get curious about well, what am I receiving and what am I processing and, and what do I naturally intuitively know to do with that information. And, and more than anything, what I am I'm so passionate about is waking us up to the power and the importance of this trait in all fields so that we can be in partnership and we can utilize this extrasensory data that we're receiving in all walks of life to make organi organizations better, to make governments better, to be able to be more in alignment with the needs of, of the ecology and, and, and the environment, the ecosystem that, that we're living in, the relationship that we're having with animals. Like all of it is, is an opportunity for us to really understand the high sensory role within this so that we can embrace it, we can utilize it, we can understand the identity of it in the world, and then we can understand it, we can understand the identity within ourselves at a personal level. So you can embrace and own the amazing person that you are, the value of who you are in the world. So we can truly bring this ability forwards in the way that it's intended. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Let me know how this is resonating for you. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.